It's a type of tree that creates beautiful canopies across Hawaii, but the species is also responsible for millions of dollars in damage. A new law will allow property owners to enter vacant lots to get rid of the trees. Erica Engel joining us now with all the details. Erica. Indeed, yes. If you look at the vacant lot next door and worry that those towering Albizia trees could come crashing down onto your property, this new law was written with you in mind. If you live next door to a vacant property and they've how busy just out of control overhanging your driveway, your house, your garage, uh, or if you're the, the utility and want to do the same, you can go through this process now to legally enter the property for the purpose of controlling the busy. During and after Tropical Storm Isel in 2014, Ruderman says, As you may recall, about 90% of the damage was from Albizia trees. So we became very aware of that. You know, we always knew it was a potential hazard, and then it became a very real hazard. The law requires a certified arborist to confirm the Albizia threat, at least two attempts to contact the landowner, and notification of neighboring property owners. The Big Island Invasive Species Committee educates the public about Albizia. During Tropical Storm Azel, we lost 37 homes, primarily to uh, trees falling on them and crushing them. The Hawaii Electric Light Company spent some 13 to 14 million just rebuilding infrastructure, mainly due to Albizia damage. Kay says the arborist needs to be a local expert. Albizia, particularly, is not a, a tree for a novice uh, arborist, and it's also not a tree to have your your cousin from the mainland, who's an arborist, come out and cut down because it has some real quirks, and a lot of that has to do with the weak uh, nature of the wood. Albizia was actually a good thing when it was introduced in 1917. It was planted in uh, experimental forestry plantings on all of the islands at a time when, uh, you know, we used to burn wood to fuel the boilers for sugarcane and for all kinds of uh, electricity and heating needs uh, throughout the state. It grows fast, and a tree may only last for 30 years, but it spreads a lot of seed. So the botanist said Hawaii would always have plenty of this wood crop to fuel our fires. A good thing then, now not so much. That said, creative woodworkers are finding alternative uses for the plentiful invasive wood. Back to you.